Good morning, my classy people. How everybody's doing? My name is Wayne Bolden. I'm your speaking, of course. As always, please turn your closed captions on for us. And remember, tip sheets will be available this weekend. Big, big weekend of derby preps. There's four going on this weekend. None bigger than the Louisiana Derby. And of course, the UAE Derby over there at Medan. Uh, race course uh, overseas and uh, we got the Jeff Ruby's uh, cranking of course and of course Sunland Park on Sunday so again email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com if you want our all stakes tip sheets they're 15 bucks and of course we have any full card of any one racetrack those are 20 bucks just by emailing us and of course I sent out about 80 or 90 free tip sheets last weekend to everybody that I could remember and in the you know email uh, just as a love gift and thanking you so much um, I pay it forward all the time so thank you I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully you made some money well the Louisiana Derby it is race number 12 on the card at beautiful fairgrounds in New Orleans it's a full field of 12 the boys are back in town it's a grade two it's for one million dollars uh oh and there's a bunch of points on the line for sure 100 points 40 30 20 10 like that and I guess the first note is that instant coffee is in uh, the race, the number two horse, probably is going to be your favorite. It probably should be your favorite. About two to one, five to two, I'm guessing. I don't see the morning line. It's Tuesday morning. It's Brad Cox and all his big head merry horses. And this is a very, very nice horse, you know. It's not going to be my top pick, but I want everybody to do know that he's probably the horse to beat. He currently has about 32 points to his credit. And he really doesn't really need to win the race. He probably hit the board uh, second or third and had more than enough points to get into the derby but to me he's probably the horse to beat in here but I'm going to turn my eyes and I'm going to be a little cute in here I mean there's a horse or two horses in here that I'm kind of interested in and the one is the number three horse right outside of instant coffee curly jack no he didn't just come up with curly jack well again I don't know why I lean towards these type of things once I handicap these races, but when I looked at Curly Jack, he has two wins from seven stars, two seconds for 422,000. I mean, he's by good magic on the back end by Roman Ruler. It's that man, Mama Who, Tommy Amos. I always think he's underrated, but he's awfully good at pushing the buttons from the trainer's booth. Now, the reason that I think Curly Jack is sitting on a race is here's the reason. Again, Curly Jack made his three-year-old debut on February 18th. Now, as a two-year-old, you know, this horse won a grade three race, went to the Breeders' Cup Juvenile, finished fifth by 12, and in the uh, Kentucky Jockey Club uh, stake race on November 26, he ran second behind Instant Coffee at five to two. They laid him up in November, right, as a two-year-old, rightly so, and he returned 84 days later on February 18th. Now, I expect a two-year-old making his three-year-old debut to be a lot uh, better than he was at two, right? I mean, that's the whole point. And again, to me, the, his return race, his three-year-old debut in the grade two Risen Star where Angel of Emperor won and Sun Thunder, the number four horse in here, ran second. Hey, listen, and two fields ran third. That's not that. I do not expect to see that race in the Risen Star on Curly Jack. And if anybody can tell me that they expect this horse to run that race, making his three-year-old debut off of that two-year-old line, I'll eat your hat. I don't buy it. I know the horse was bumped at the start. I said he had trouble, right? And he had Morales. That's Tom Amos' boy in the arms. And again, the horse is coming in to the Louisiana Derby on an off race, which I always admire, right? But really, to be honest with you, I'm going to give him a chance to run big and run real big in here because I just don't buy his three-year-old debut. Okay, he was bumped at the start. He was a little wide here and there. I don't, that, that's just not right finishing eighth by tenth in the risen star I'm not saying he should have won the race but he should have been at least better than he was as a two-year-old i'm going to give him a chance he's going to be my top pick or my one and one a for sure and then i'm going to bounce way way outside in the 11 hole no he didn't just go out into the 11 hole i did y'all know i hate to be outside the eight hole because the enemy the horse racing is ground loss well you can say what you want but i tell you jack's uh, Jace Road, 
Jace Road, the number 11. I'm going to tell you, just like Curly Jack, I'm not buying it, y'all. Two wins from five starts. The horse is bred like all get out by Quality Road that goes all the way back to Raising Native and Native Dancer and Mr. Prospector. You name it. I tell you, Jace Road is bred like all get out. And he's a, oh, he's a merry horse, is Brad Cox horse. And I tell you right now, with Silver Deputy as the grandsire, very nice. Flo is back in the arms. The stable boy, that's right. The jock is back, flows back in the yards. But here's the skinny. Two wins from five starts for, hey, Jace's Road. Listen to this. Similar to Curly Jack. Well, this horse won a beautiful stake race on December 26th, or Dece yeah, December 26th, which was the Gunrunner Stakes at beautiful fairgrounds. That speed figure on December 26th is beautiful. As a two-year-old, they give the horse 20, 33 days. He comes back, make his three-year-old campaign, uh, camp, campaign uh, or debate three, on uh, January 28th in Oakland Park, right, in the Southwest Sloppy Racetrack and finished five by 12. He was 10 to 1 with my boy Joe Talamo up. That's the day that Arabian Night ran out of the TV screen. And I think I like the uh, second place horse here, uh, Red Route 1, which was an Asmussen and Frosted Departure, who was a huge price. But I'm telling you now, I don't expect to see that race in the Southwest Stakes neither. Five by 12 on Jace's Road. This horse, and I, I don't know if he just didn't like the track or if Joe um, Talamo had him wide. I know he was three wide early, five wide flattening out coming home, and now he's returning back to fairgrounds. Go look at the race on the 25th of the 26th of December, uh, the gun runner at fairgrounds. This horse earned a huge speed figure, y'all. And now he's coming in on an off race. So to me, my top two picks here, being a little cute, trying to beat the favorite, of course, instant coffee, which I love, by the way, in my ghost zapper cup. My top two picks is going to be the number three, Curly Jack, and Jace's, uh, Jace's Road. I can't separate them. They're one and one A. So both of them are going to be on my ticket for sure. And my third horse in here, well, I don't want to get overly, overly cute, but I will. Hey, listen, I believe the four horse Sun Thunder ran too good last time not to use this horse. Okay, well, only one win from four starts, one second and one third. It's McPeak and McPeak doing all the conditioning. You want to talk about a nice horse that's bred beautifully by intermission on a back end by uh, Medaglia Dora, Dora, see Bobby Franco? Well, Sun, uh, Sun Thunder, right, came out of the Risen Star and ran second to Angel of Emperor. Made a three-quarter move, a deep, deep move. This horse was far back. That's a beautiful race this horse ran, and I expect this horse to go forward. Briar Hernandez, McPeak's boy, is back in. I expect it to be a square price. Hey, why can't Sun Thunder run a little better than he did last time, which is only second by one length in a serious grade two race? I think he deserves some respect on his name. Okay, so my third pick is going to be Sun Thunder. And my fourth pick, I haven't totally lost my mind, right? Of course, it's going to be Instant Coffee. Let me say it once and say it twice, right? Instant Coffee, the number two horse, is obviously the horse to beat. You don't need me to give you Instant Coffee, right? Three wins from four starts. Hello, it's Brad Cox and his band of merry horses by Bolto Dior. I don't know if he wants to go the distance to sire. I, I got to do some research. But again, Instant Coffee, obviously, with my boy up, Louie, Louie, Louie. Sias is in the yard, the best jock in the country, in my opinion, right? But again, Instant Coffee is clearly the horse to beat and already has 32, 34 points to his credit. Uh, if he hits the board uh, second, third, or fourth here, he'll be in the derby. So we'll see. Maybe Brad Cox can get his other horse in here. Uh, Jace's row. So my fourth pick is going to be instant coffee. I haven't totally lost my mind. With the understanding, don't send me a hundred emails. How could not pick instant coffee? Well, he's two to one. Obviously, Captain. Obviously, you don't need me to give you instant coffee. Obviously, he's a leading contender in the dirt of uh, of the five ten horses in the derby going in and clearly the horse probably the beat in Louisiana Derby and he probably could get beat in here there are some other horses that can really run in here so I'm going to give other three-year-olds a chance to 
spring forward in this time of the year. So, what is it going to be in the Louisiana Derby? We're going to upset the field. We think Curly Jack, the number three horse, and the number 11, who should be sitting in the catbird behind um, uh, King Bomb, King, King, King's uh, Barnes, uh, the number six horse, right? We like the number three, Curly Jack, and the number 11. That's right, Jace's Road, okay? Uh, and our third pick is going to be, hey, we think the Sun Thunder should run. And then we'll round it out with the favorite and the one to be instant coffee. So for us, it's three, 11, four, two, in that order. We like Curly Jack, and we like Jace's Road, for sure. Both of them will be on our ticket. And we're going to keep our eye on the Sun Thunder. Trying to upset the race. Let's get by the big head favorite. My name is Wayne Bolden. I'm your speed king. I'm having a bunch of fun. Curly Jack. Jason's Road. Let's take it down. Talk to y'all real soon.